my machine strike pieces around? I don't think that door had power before, but looks like it's malfunctioning. Daddy sure does love his little big man. She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big... But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth. The Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I have learned enough. And then, one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was a liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training. Boiling away. Alone. What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave.
You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. I acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the Proving Lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. Like some kind of movie in space. Better try it further back. I wonder where this leads. Did it? Uh, Aloy? A bunch of lights just turned on up here? Was that you? Oh. Huh. Yeah, I guess it was.
Oh, looks like I can open that door now. There's a lot of equipment in here. Gaia? Who was I've all this been for? tackling the design. This room was designed for management of the facility's vast sea banks. From here, control center operatives would have monitored new crop rotations into the automated farmlands, now known as Plainsong. I see. Show me more. Mind if we have a word? Of course not. You said you were training with the Focus? That's right. I've been watching holograms of your first fight with the Zenith Spectres. They are faster and more agile than any machines I've faced before. How many do the Zeniths have? I'm not sure. Probably a lot. I would not wish to face them en masse. I'm with you there. I heard my friend Talana came by the base. Did you get a chance to meet her? Briefly. A bold woman going into Tanakh territory with that Karja armor of hers. She'll be lucky if my people don't shoot her on sight. She'll be careful. She's just looking for someone who might need her help. Whoever it is, they better be worth dying for. It must be strange. I can see machines like never before. Their strengths and weaknesses simply reveal themselves to me. To think that such a tiny object might be the most powerful weapon I've ever possessed. What do you think of this place? It must take some getting used to. It's an efficient center of operations, and an acceptable training facility. Though it could use some more... color. Duly noted. Getting Aether out of the grove made for quite a spectacle. One that showed the entire tribe that Hikaro's mission for peace is the correct path, for it is now blessed by the Ten themselves. Have you had a chance to speak with Varl? Briefly. He fought well against Regala's troops at Baron Light. Are all Nora as skilled as the two of you? I'm not exactly one of them. But anyway, the Nora can hold their own. They managed to push the Karja from their lands. I thought my tribe was the only one to have done that. Impressive. Does it still hurt? It comes and goes. I try not to think about it, but its absence is always present for me. It's difficult to explain. I can't claim to understand. Only empathize. Then you have my thanks. Have you spoken with Erend at all? I've had little chance to. I did see him bring some ale from out east. That stuff's as bitter as Selfbrush. You get used to it, eventually. In fact, I wouldn't mind a drink myself. I'm sure Erend wouldn't mind sharing. I should get going. If I can help in some way, say the word. I will. Thank you. Aloy. Uh, it's everything all right? It, it seemed like you and Varl were down at that basement for a while. Yeah, everything's fine, I guess. Well, okay. Uh, what, what can I do for you? I should get going. Back to reading, I guess. You'll be careful out there. Plugging in that power cell downstairs must have turned on these holograms. If you keep frowning that hard, you'll get wrinkles. I just don't get this last Maybe
Keep moving. Keep moving. I hear the rebels want you dead, Outlander. But I know someone who might be willing to teach you some of their fighting techniques. His name is Laroca. He trains the soldiers at Scalding Spear, just west of here. Don't think he'd mind seeing the champion in action. Maybe I'll pay him a visit, if not that way. If you walk by, you'll miss out on a good trade. Something wrong, Aloy? I don't think shock ammo will help. Just die already! That's not soldiers in trouble. Please, stranger! Help me kill this thing! Now the time turns! I'm taking you down! Just die already! You've 
got to help my friend. Wait. Slow down and explain. Batea and I were heading south with supplies from Salt Bite when machines attacked. I left her behind so I could get help from the Grove and ran straight into another machine. Thank the Ten you were here to help. So your friend is still up the road, fighting machines? That's what I'm trying to tell you! I'll bail her out if I can. You go on and get those reinforcements. Will do. I'm in your debt. The other Tanox should be somewhere up the road. Slid. Minus the supplies and the Tanak soldier. It looks like the Tanak tried to salvage some supplies after getting attacked. They dropped them? They're running battle? Maybe they can lead me to the other soldier. Tracks from the missing Tanakh.
cast at me! By the ten that lump made it, I thought we were both finished. Much better. Let's clear out these machines! Machine's tough. Acid's no use here. shown up, I would have been machine grist. All I did was give your friend here a little time to come to the rescue. Ah, you're full of it. I barely escaped with my life on the road. That, I believe. I, uh, hope some of your supplies are still usable. Me too. Food's always scarce. The soldiers at the Grove need the rations. No way we can trek back north to Saltbite to get more. I'll get this one back on her feet and we'll scrape what's left of our hall in the dirt. Mmm, you're making me hungry. Thanks, Outlander. We won't forget what you did. Stay safe, both of you. Ready for anything, though?
Hope keeps an extra on hand. North rebels have taken over these ruins. What are you doing here? to take her out. Better take a look. You guys in for a scrap? Because it's coming. Spotted. We're under attack! Should have brought warmer gear. Yes. 
looks like some sort of big site. If I want to figure out what's going on here, I need to find whoever's in charge. I could do some damage. Eyes open! We've got some unfinished business. Buddy here! Eyes open for that outlander! Are we missing anyone? Sure you don't want to wait Leave until the body. She comes out. Find who did this. This will be in my stash when I need it. here this must be her work where is she now <sighs> how'd she do this without raising the alarm Snowfall's blanketing the land.
My fault. Don't know what got into me. We were right to have a look around. She's above us! Ancient key. I wonder what it opens. Locked. Maybe this key I found will open it. Let's see what these rebels are so intent on protecting. Closer. What are they doing here? later. Sons of Prometheus were here as well. <laughs> Weapons without ammo are just extra weight.
To all sons of Prometheus, engineers and operatives. I've been hearing some belly aching, whining about the Tanakh, the work, the conditions, the occasional limb loss to a machine when someone gets careless. I get it. It's been a long road. You. We've suffered, we'll continue to suffer. But we're close. Oh this alliance will get us what we want, I promise. The Karja will pay oh. for the Red Raids in blood. Oh. And so will all oh. the collaborators in the Vanguard oh. and back in the claim. So shut up, get back to work, and always remember oh. a reckoning is like how on that the way. Fails. Prometheus one target. Someone else is in here. You okay? No! with weapon schematics. Different versions of the same thing. None of them complete. We've been experimenting with old world power cells. There's a whole stockpile of them in here. So the sons of Prometheus were trying to build weapons based on ancient technology. They must have helped Silence make the one that killed that Zenith. Well, whatever it is, he uses these power cells. But it doesn't look like they figured it out. Yet. If I destabilize that cell, the explosion would start a chain reaction and take the bunker with it. No bunker, no power cells, no new weapons. I only have a few seconds to get out of here before this blows. Time to run! I don't think these guys will be making any scary new weapons now. Sons of Prometheus are coming after the Karja and the Vanguard. I need to find out more about their operations and stop them. The Vanguard is in its unit. I should talk to him about this. 